I'm often asked for a great definition of organization or business. I think Peter Drucker put it best this way when he said that an organization is a collective of individuals meant to do something higher and greater than the individuals could do alone. This is a great perspective to have and that job of the leader is to get the individuals to maximize not only their potential, but the potential of the collective. And that the leader is in a way a glue guy. If you remember, the old Rockets, he had a player by the name of Shane Battier, who I'm a big fan of. Shane was the ultimate glue guy. He was a starter, scored three, four, five points a game, but played incredible defense. But he was the leader on the floor because he was the glue guy. And so that's one way that we can think about leadership within an organization is we've got to maximize the potential of individuals. That is the purpose of an organization, and therefore a purpose of a leader. You know, one of the great books that I like to read is this book by Peter Drucker called The Effective Executive. This is a great tool to hand out about five or six months after a new employee starts. I highly recommend it. It is a great treatise on what it means to be an organization, what interactions, what sort of cadences are necessary for the effective executive within the knowledge framework. This is a transitory book as we move from the industrial age into the information age where knowledge workers are the norm. One other quick read that I often recommend by Peter Drucker is this little book that's produced by Harvard Business Review, their publishing house called Managing Oneself. This is a day one book that I hand to folks. Why? Because when people join the organization, I need them to be able to learn and to catch up where the rest of the organization is. And only by learning are they gonna be able to attract themselves to the culture itself. The, the culture has to be attractive to them. And only way it's gonna be attractive to them is if they can learn how they like to learn, right? There's, there's certain people that like to learn over videos, certain people that like to read uh, the written words, some people that like to speak knowledge after they learn it. And that's really how they, they ingest the information, absorb the information and apply it. But we don't know that until we learn how we like to learn. So that's one of the premises in the Managing Oneself book. So those are two great tools to learn how to be an effective executive and manage oneself in this new information age where we manage knowledge workers, not industrial workers. And so as the glue guy in the organization, the glue gal in the organization, we as leaders have to provide the tools, provide the communication, provide the care and the stewardship of the individuals, but to maximize those in the greatest way possible. Hey guys, I really hope you're enjoying the topic so far today. If there's anything that you would like for me to talk about next, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Love to hear great ideas about videos, stories, historical encounters, philosophies, world religions that you'd like to hear about. Comment below. Let's get back to today's topic.